Prove that for the equation 1 over p plus 3 over q plus 5 over r plus 7 over s equals 1, p, q, r, s cannot all be odd integers. So I'm just going to rewrite this like this. So we're saying that 1 over p plus 3 over q plus 5 over r plus 7 over s. We're considering this equation right here. The question is asking that p, q, r, s cannot all be odd integers. So to solve this problem, we're going to use contradiction. And the way we're going to do it is to first assume that p, q, r, s all have odd integer solutions. So let's say p, q, r, s are all odd. We're going to use this to find a contradiction later. But first, when you look at the equation, the first thing you should try to do is get rid of the fractions. So our first instinct is going to tell us to multiply both sides by the denominator's lowest common multiple, in which this case is p, q, r, s. So let's multiply both sides by p, q, r, s. On the right side, we get uh, q, r, s plus 3 p, r, s plus 5 p, q, s plus 7 pqr equals pqrs. When you look at this, it's really, really looks complicated. But this word here, odd, this is really going to help us out. Because when we assume that pqrs are all odd, then the right side here, when you multiply odd numbers by odd numbers, it's always odd. So pqrs here is going to be odd. And we know that this is going to be odd because qrs, again, we're assuming that they're all odd. And then prs, pqs, pqr are all odd because, again, we're assuming that they're all odd. So let's just write that down. So each term on the right side, or sorry, on the left side is going to be odd. And when we have and we have an even number of odd terms. So when we add all of these, it's going to be even. So that's the left side. But then again, on the right side, we have PQRS, which is odd. Since the left side is odd and the right side is even, this is a contradiction. So our original claim, which was that p, q, r, s all have odd integer solutions, is false. So we prove that they all cannot be odd integers. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express.